Hi everyone, this is Brian Hayes and welcome to a brief discussion on how to play subtones on the saxophone. A subtone is perhaps best described as the soft, sensuous, breathy sound most commonly played on the tenor saxophone. However, you can produce subtones effectively on the entire saxophone family. I'll start by just demonstrating the normal tone on the saxophone. Now normally subtones are played in the lower register of the sax, so I'm going to play the lowest possible major scale on the tenor saxophone. That's a B flat scale. This is played with a normal full volume, normal full tone. <laughs> Okay, so that's the traditional powerful sound of the saxophone. The subtone is the exact opposite of that. I'll now play that same scale. I'll play it slower, but I'll play it with a full, breathy, soft subtone. <laughs> So a big feature of the subtone is allowing the air, the, the amount of air in the sound compared to the tone of the sound to shift wildly in favour of the air passing through the reed. So when we normally play, we aim to just have the sound of the saxophone. There will be a little bit of air sound, but it'll be hidden largely by the reed doing its job of vibrating. <laughs> Now, apart from the very last fall-off note in what I just played, you really couldn't hear the air sound in the saxophone sound at all. The predominant buzz of the reed that creates the traditional saxophone sound overpowered any perception of the air rushing through the saxophone. When I played that last note and sort of fell off, did a fall off on the saxophone, I deliberately let more of the air sound come in. So I relaxed my embouchure grip and allowed the balance between the sound of the air rushing through the saxophone and the sound of the reed vibrating to shift higher up more towards the sound of the breathy sound. Now, just to help you get used to, if you're new to the subtone concept or maybe you want to refine it a little more than you can currently play it, I'm going to finger the note A without the octave key on the tenor sax, so second space A in the music stave, but I'm going to keep my embouchure loose enough that I won't let the reed actually start to vibrate. What you will hear now is 100% the sound of the air rushing past the reed through the saxophone. Let's have a listen. So hopefully that's coming through on the microphone. That's just the sound of air going through a saxophone when the note A is fingered on it. Now, if I want the reed to vibrate, I've got to tighten my embouchure, not bite down on the reed, but right around the mouthpiece. I've just got to tighten my grip of that embouchure enough to give the reed the support it needs in its normal position to start vibrating. So this time I'm going to start with just the rush of air and I'm going to try and just bring the strength of my embouchure very, very slowly, a little tighter so that the note A will start to sound. Now you would have heard when it did start there, it came in with a bit of a rush, but there was still largely about a 50% balance between the rush of the air and the very soft A note. That's called a subtone. It's below the normal sound of the tone of the note. Very little sound of air there that you can pick up. There's a lot of the note A there. But as I back off my grip on the embouchure and also to some degree slow my air speed down a little, you'll hear the subtone develop. And eventually, it just became the sound of the wind. So in that case, I started 
with a full powered A and I backed off the pressure of my embouchure, the circle of muscles around my lips holding the reed and the mouthpiece in the normal saxophone playing position. But I also slowed my airspeed back a little too. And the combination of that, a slightly looser grip on your embouchure and a slightly slower airspeed gives you the famous subtone sound on the saxophone. <laughs> Probably the most famous tenor saxophone solo of all time, the Pink Panther. When Plas Johnson did his original recording with Henry Mancini, one of the amazing things about that original recording was that soft, sexy, sensual, breathy sound that Plas Johnson produced on the Pink Panther. Now, the same approach is taken on all of the saxophones. And just to let you hear a little bit of the alto saxophone when it's played in subtone, have a listen to this. It really is just a matter of backing off the airspeed, backing off the volume, and backing off your grip, your embouchure grip on the mouthpiece. We're trying to let a greater percentage of the sound of air rushing through the saxophone be heard in our overall end product. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I hope it inspires you to explore the palette of tone colours available to you from your saxophone. You do need a good reed mouthpiece ligature combination and a saxophone in really good repair to be able to play the subtones well. Some players confuse the stuffy sound of a poorly maintained saxophone as the subtone sound. Not at all. Your saxophone should be able to make all of the different sounds that are capable. There's other tutorials where I've demonstrated the growl on the saxophone. It just gives the saxophone a completely different character. <laughs> So I haven't had to change my reed, my mouthpiece. I haven't had to do anything there. I just changed the sound in my mind. And when I think of a subtone, all of these standard techniques are just waiting for you to explore and to master, and it will completely change your sound palette and the creativity options open to you as you explore the music that's in your heart and soul and mind through this fantastic instrument called the saxophone. I'm going to finish now with just a short clip showcasing the subtone sound on the tenor saxophone. This is me playing with an acoustic piano, acoustic bass and acoustic drums. And it's just a very short extract from the all time classic, beautiful ballad called Smoke Gets In Your Eyes, which was written, the music was written by Jerome Kerm in 1933. Keep in touch via my website, subscribe to these YouTube clips, tick like if you like them, and keep exploring your own path forward in your journey with the saxophone. Bye for now.